Windows Search is resource heavy, and a lot of times it does not give us what we want. So why do we even use it? Well, with anything, let's just replace it. Yes, it's on the start menu. Yes, Microsoft wants you to use this way, but it's a bit too intrusive. And there's a lot of times it affects my performance, and frankly, that's just not acceptable. So let's replace it today with everything search, but not just installing everything search. We're going to do a toolbar so we have a lot of the ease of use and functionality of this without actually opening up a secondary program. We, we just want it on our taskbar, you know, down there would be probably a good spot for it. So let's get to it. So with all my videos, I have a little cheat sheet here for you, depending on what you're comfortable with installing. There's the official site from Void Tools Downloads. You can go there and download the executable if you want to do that. Uh, I'm just going to use Winget today just because it's faster and it's just a lot easier to do. So I'm just going to type that into an elevated PowerShell prompt. It'll go out, download, and install everything for me. All right, with that installed, let's come back to here. Now, this is Windows 11. If you're using Windows 10, it doesn't matter what you install from everything. It's just going to work. The one cool tool to put it right there is everything toolbar. I really like that. So if I'm going to be using search a bunch, usually I'm installing everything coupled with everything toolbar. I say all that because you have to get the beta release of everything toolbar. Otherwise, it does not work on Windows 11. Windows 10 can use both versions. It doesn't matter. But for today, since this is Windows 11, we're going to take the everything toolbar right here, beta. So we're going to copy that, paste it. By the time you watch this video, maybe here in a month or two, uh, don't worry about it. It's just going to be there and it's probably going to be on a stable release so that's all installed we've done everything and the everything toolbar close out of that and now we should disable the indexer after we set up everything uh, down here let's just launch into everything first uh, let's look at the settings from the options there's a couple things i like to do i like to show the everything folder context menu that's always a good one you could do a quick launch shortcut but since we're doing the toolbar i think that's a little overkill and if you need to include certain folders, maybe a network drive, or if you want to just uh, exclude certain folders, you can definitely do it through the indexes tab just down here. This is where the database is stored with all the stuff going on. The cool thing about this, where Windows Indexer just runs all the time, constantly, this just says, hey, there's new files or new data at these index locations, and then it'll run. That is why it's superior. That's why it uses less resources. So with that, let's go over to the everything toolbar now and configure it. Now you can see everything search right here. Uh, and if we want to just add that to the toolbar, we could hit taskbar options, come into other system tray and then enable everything. But you can see the default settings from everything when we just click it to open it or search uh, windows right here or show a search window. It's just going to pull up this whole GUI, which I'm not a big fan of. So that's where we switch over. So I'm going to go everything toolbar. And now we have these two icons, which is great. So we can pin that to the taskbar, right click, pin to taskbar, hide window search. Yes. Configure auto start, enable, and then hit close. Perfect. All better. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and go into options from the everything options and UI. Uncheck show tray icon, hit apply. That's just going to hide that tray icon. No, no reason to have that in there. So anytime we want to set up and search something on our computer, we can just type that and go, you know what? I'm looking for a file. Let's just grab GIMP, uh, maybe .exe uh, or GIMP star .exe. Okay, cool. And that what it is, is just searching for GIMP as it starts with anything in between and then .exe and it returns any result for that on my entire computer. And then it even shows, hey, when was the last modifier runtime? Pretty darn cool, way better than the Windows search. But now we have to disable the Windows search as well. So the quickest way to disable Windows Indexer is just go services.msc, go down to search, disable it. So we just go to our run box, type services.msc. From here, come down to Windows search. You can see it's running. Let's stop that and then set this to disabled. This will stop the, the Windows search from running, but we could even go a little step further. If we pull up File Explorer, 
right click your main drive, hit properties, and then make sure to uncheck allow files on this drive to have its context is in indexed in addition to file properties. This will prevent Windows Search Indexer from actually running. And then if you really want to just like do a nuke the world and say, hey, I really don't want Windows Indexer to do anything, you can actually run Windows Indexer under indexing options. And if you don't know where indexing options or let's say the start menu is not working, you could also pull this up by just doing start run, typing control, and then clicking on index options right here. And this pulls up the, the indexing options as well. Both those ways will get you there. And then what you do is delete all the, anything in here. Now, if the services is running, you can see this fill up. Let's just re-enable our service real fast. And then you can see exactly what it's pulling in. So you can see it's pulling in everything from my users folder right here. I might actually want to just take that, disable it, and then uncheck users and then say, okay. So now it would just be start menu. I I'm fine leaving start menu in there and it just having a really blank index uh, on Windows. That's also fine if you want to leave this on manual just so you have that start menu options for searching stuff in your start menu. I just am not a huge fan of that. That's why I usually just go into indexer, double click, stop, and disable. A uh, fun fact tier two is on updates. It will re-enable search and uh, force it back on if you do disable it. So no, if you have a big feature update, you'll need to do this again. Just a fun, fun tidbit of Windows. Having said that, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.